Hi everyone, this is Atul Kumar and you are watching Uextreme and today we are going to learn about selectors. With selectors, I mean checkboxes, radio buttons and toggle buttons. So without any delay, let's get started. First, let's talk about checkbox. So checkbox, a form of input which allows users to select multiple options from given option list. Users can unselect the option by clicking on it again. Now checkboxes can work with a single line item. That means it doesn't need to have multiple options all the time. Just one single line item can work. If we talk about its states and interaction, then states are active, selected and disabled. Now these are commonly used in our day to day life and we observe them in food apps, delivery apps, or many other places. Now, in terms of interactions, let's say this one is active and when user clicks on it, it gets selected. And if users wants to unselect it, then he clicks on it again. Now, let's move on to radio button. Radio button is a form of input which allows users to select single option from the given option list. Also, user cannot unselect the option by just clicking on it again. He has to change the selection by selecting other option. Now, radio button need minimum of two options to work. In terms of its states and interaction, it's simple active, selected and disabled. Now, I do not have anything uh, in terms of two options, but let's say if users clicks on it and uh, it shows something like this, then it's selected. Now let's talk about toggle button. It's a form of input which allows users to switch between two options or two states. One option is selected by default and it requires only two options to work. Right? Um, I mean to say, we'll have just one state which will be off and it will have certain name such as light mode and uh, then there will be state 2 which can be a dark mode and there is a disabled state where user cannot click on it so in terms of interaction when you click on the toggle button it switches to the other side selecting the other option and then back to the first option right now let's talk about its uses and placement so checkboxes, like the usage is clear, it can be used with a card or an image or a horizontal card or a list or a list, something like this, or a single line item as shown over here. So you can use checkboxes with uh, all these given elements and other elements as well as per requirement. But this is the prominent one. And in terms of position, you can keep it on the left top right corner or on the right top right corner or uh, in the middle over here wherever it is required and looks visually appealing and is visible to the users right and if you can see over here let's say you are choosing toppings for your pizza then uh, cheese is by default selected and is disabled so that users cannot unselect it and then user has option to select this or unselect this one so on choose their toppings as per their own requirement and checkboxes here are very helpful and again with the i accept terms and conditions this is always visible whenever we interact with a certain sign up screen so let's look at some examples of our radio button. So let's say on an, any website you are signing up and it asks you for whether you are a girl or a boy or you want to keep it anonymous. User has this option to select only one. And similarly, you can use radio buttons to select one image such as this one or one card such as this one. Now in terms of toggle, it's simple. Either you use it with the one text such as this one and you make it online or make it offline or you can switch between two text like light mode or dark mode. 
Now let's create some interactive components like we saw earlier. So we'll be making our checkbox, make a radio button, which will be interactive in this manner and this toggle button. Now we'll be creating this toggle button as well, just for fun. Okay, so let's make it. So these are the components which I have already made. I have placed over here, which you just saw. And let's try to make them again. And I'll be showing you how to do it with just these elements. Now, let's start with our checkbox first. So we have a check and we have a rectangle, more of a square. And to make it work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two states. First is our unselect state and second is our selected state so i'm going to do that but before that i think i should make certain changes so that it looks little better and to do that i'm going to fill it with accent color and i'm going to change its stroke to white and outline to accent as well so that it looks something like this one and to make interaction easy i'm going to copy this check vector again on the top it will be white but i'll hide its appearance to zero percent so we have these two options now what i'm going to do is i'm going to group them so group one group two select both of them and create a component set now we have a set and now i'm going to create a prototype with a tab where the state will change so i have this one on click and i can smart animate or not so i am making it dissolve and i'll do that same with this one so once user clicks on the empty one user will get this checkbox and uh, user clicks on this checkbox again goes back to the initial state now i'm going to repeat this same for these two all right and uh, now let's create this one as well and then we'll look at its uh, prototype all right so our elements are ready now let's grab these and see our demonstration over here to do that i'm also going to make this page quickly and show you how they are working so i'm going to delete these and grab it from my asset panels so i have selectors over here and let's look at the name uh all right so i have thinner ones the newer ones and then i have this component five so these four what i'm going to do is uh let's grab this checkbox this radio button this toggle button and the newer component
All right, so let's look at our page and preview. Oops, it's not working. Let's change my prototype to this one. Nice. So we have our page and if you scroll on it, it looks something like this one. And if you click on this one, convert to checkbox, this is your radio button, right? And this is your toggle. And this one is your interactive one. So I have used GIF in my, uh, <coughs> one second. So I have used GIF as a MS in this circle and again a static one on the left with the highlighted one. So just follow the steps and you will be able to do something similar. So that's all for this video guys and uh, I hope you liked it. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel and I'll keep posting and my next topic will be on drop down. So stay tuned and wait for the next video. Till then, bye bye, take care.